Hi, this is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a review of Yamaha's HS8 speakers. They're fantastic. That's the short of it. If you want to pick up a copy, there's an affiliate link down below where you can get these. Uh, but in any event, I want to walk you through the pros and cons of these speakers. I've owned them for about six months. A little bit about who I am and why these work for me and why they might work for you and why they might not. I'll play you some demos of the HS8s and also just sort of share some tips for getting the most out of them. Before we go any farther though, I wanna let you know that I've got a free hour and a half long course on mastering. You can sign up for it down below. Um, I've had my music played hundreds of thousands of times in stores, streamed hundreds of thousands of times. It's in TV shows, it's on Netflix, all of that. And this course, this workshop doesn't hide anything. These are the tips I've used. I'm not a Grammy award winner. My music is successful. I do it all in this home studio. So check out those tips, join that workshop. So now let's talk a bit about the HS8s. They're eight inch speakers. That's the first thing I want to tell you. And they are loud and powerful. I upgraded from a set of five inch speakers. And what I found is that when I upgraded from the five inch to the eight inch, it then made me have to do a lot more to my room. I'm in a room that's about 10 by 10, which is probably as small as you could go with the eight inch speakers. It also has a fair amount of soundproofing. You can see beside me, these go all the way up. My entire ceiling uh, area, the corners there are all soundproof. I've got boards here and here. The first thing you need to consider is whether or not an eight inch speaker is too big for your room and whether or not you're willing to treat your room. Because if you're in a 10 by 10 untreated room, and by untreated I mean you don't have enough sound treatment, you're going to have some trouble. Plain and simple. These speakers were way too loud, way too bassy when I had like my 1.0 version of soundproof and I had four panels. It was not enough for the speakers because they put out so much extra bass compared to my five inch speakers. So what do I think the speakers sound like? I think they sound great. They sound really good actually for listening to regular music. They're, it's enjoyable to listen to pop music. They're not so clinical that you can't, you know, that you can't enjoy regular music, but it's also transparent enough that you can mix really well. Um, I've found that literally my mix has probably got 15 to 20% better once I got these and fully uh, upgraded all the soundproofing because I could just hear things that I couldn't hear before. There's a lot of depth to the speakers. There is a lot of low end, but the mid is smooth and clear and the highs aren't overhyped. So it lets you really, really dial in a sound. And I realized, for example, that I had never included enough high end in a lot of my mixes and also that my low end was really muddy and just having these speakers and the ability to hear things that I hadn't heard before has made a difference. One more thing I do wanna note about these speakers being bigger is that previously I just had my five inch speakers on acoustic foam, that like an Aurelex foam type thing, um, and that was enough, but <laughs> these speakers are so big and heavy that they literally just crushed the foam and like nearly fell over. I was there, so I caught it. Um, but you also have to upgrade the stands that they're on because if these sit directly on your desk, it's gonna sound awful. Uh, they're gonna vibrate your desk. It's gonna create all these resonances that you don't want. The overall sound, like I said, is really good. We'll listen to some demos in a minute. Um, but one thing I do want to point out that I think probably is not always well conveyed is that these speakers, when it comes to like electrical noises and hum are incredible. My old speakers would sort of buzz a little bit sometimes, and these do not make a sound from the electricity. However, they do not have great shielding against Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, for example. Like, if I get a message on my phone, sometimes it'll like go <laughs> on the speakers. Sometimes, for whatever reason, the Bluetooth on my computer, when it kicks in, or even the Wi-Fi will kind of make the speakers and we'll, I'll, I'll force it to do it later on when you were doing the demo so you can hear it. Basically you have to, if you really want it to be quiet, you got to keep your cell phone not on your desk, but like probably six to eight feet away. And similarly, you may need to either, I mean, I've got my speakers right up on my computer, but gonna need to separate some space. So if you've got a small room, that is something you might wanna consider because it can make it really hard to tell sometimes if like that hiss is from a recording or if that's just the speaker picking up some interference. Here's an example of sort of the bubbling tone it will occasionally make. I think this is probably caused by my computer's Bluetooth signal. Not incredibly loud, but let's say you've got a vinyl 
emulation plugin or anything out there making noise this can really frustrate you trying to track down where it is and it just makes it a little harder to hear things clearly separately now i'm going to show you sort of the cell phone effect this will happen sometimes when i receive a message or whatever but it can also just be triggered by putting your phone too close to the speaker like yes i have my phone right against the speaker but even when I don't have my phone on the speaker, just in my pocket, um, and I receive a message, sometimes it'll light up the speaker. Let's go listen to some demos. that there's that mastering workshop so if you want to learn how to master uh, go check that out it'll really teach you all of my secrets that are to make good enough masters professional sounding masters without actually being a pro um, and on top of that again if you're interested in checking out the hs8s i know sometimes they go on sale so i've got a link down below uh, maybe you'll catch it on a good day thank you so much for watching and be sure to turn the like button up to 11 to be blessed by the musical muses bye before we listen to these demos though, I do wanna give you a few caveats. You're not really hearing the speakers, right? You're hearing the speakers in my room with whatever soundproofing I've done, which is a fair amount, but still all the aspects of my room are gonna be coming in. And then you're hearing it filtered through my microphone, which is a, a warm audio, I forget the, I think it's a WA-87 maybe, um, microphone and the placement that I put it in. So taking all those caveats aside we're going to go and listen to some of the demos uh and also just for copyright purposes because i don't want to do get any copyright strikes we're just gonna listen to a few of my songs but i'll try and provide a variety of genres i'll do a hip-hop and a rock song so you can kind of hear how it performs in different genres also though because it's just one microphone uh you're gonna you're not gonna hear the stereo width of all of this and then on top of that you're gonna be hearing it through your speakers in your room you know take these demos with a not with a grain of salt, but um, just be aware that it's being filtered through a lot of layers. And for what it's worth, just trust my opinion. These are awesome speakers. Get them. <laughs> 